Hey everyone, it's Colt. Um, first, I'm sorry for the shaky footage here. Uh, I just wanted to introduce this video really quickly. This is an interview that I did with one of my students, Harrison, uh, who graduated and got a job. Uh, he started out in construction, doing part-time hourly work. Uh, now he's doing web development, uh, software engineering, and uh, he's really very positive, very uh, energetic guy. Um, he makes me look like I'm comatose. Oh, and one thing that I did not ask him on camera uh, about is his salary. Um, I did discuss afterwards with him, made sure he was comfortable with me revealing this, uh, but he doubled his salary from before the course and after the course. Uh, he doubled it, pretty significant increase. Um, and that is pretty much it. So please excuse the, uh, <laughs> the sound quality in this video. Uh, and so let's get on with it. This is Harrison, one of my students who went from being a construction worker to a software engineer. Hi, Harrison. Thanks for, uh, thanks for talking to me today. Um, I guess if you could just start with like super quick introduction to who you are, where you are, what you do, that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. My name is Harrison Hemstreet, and I'm a software engineer and springboard boot camp grad. And I am currently in uh, the Utah area. Um, it's been an amazing adventure. I'm at work right now, and it's just been so cool that springboard and, and uh, especially you have been able to put me in a position where I'm able to have a full time job that I love. Uh, so are you so you are working as an engineer right now or? Okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm a software engineer, uh, full stack. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm using a lot of the skills I learned at Springboard uh, in my day to day. So let's let's actually go like back in time before any of this stuff. Um, when did you first think about or like research coding, web development, any of that stuff? And did you have an earlier career where you were in school? What's your you know the start of your journey? Yeah, that's a really good question. So uh, I guess the quick and dirty version is uh, back in middle school, my dad was working in tech and he told me and my friend that, and this is seventh grade, like during the summer, we had like nothing to do. We we're just out, you know, playing in the woods and stuff. Uh, he told me and my friend that if we learned how to code in JavaScript, that he would hire us. And, you know, like us, like 13 year old kids were like, oh, so sick. You know, we'll be making like, you know, 70K at 13, this is sweet. And so we dedicated that like entire summer to learning how to code on uh, Code Academy back when it was like brand new and just free uh, through their JavaScript course. It was really fun. Uh, I honestly didn't understand a single thing about it though, like by the end of it. And so nothing really came of it there. I eventually in high school joined an AP computer science principles class. And that was a really great experience. I, despite hating the class, I got a perfect score on the AP test. And so I just kind of stored that in the back of my pocket. I remembered, uh, you know, watching the local news and seeing something about a boot camp when I was living out in California. And so I thought that was really interesting. And so I just researched it. I jumped on YouTube, found Career Karma, which is an amazing community that pointed me directly to Springboard. They matched me with the boot camp really quickly, one that specified that one that met all of my needs. And I was able to join Springboard, uh, complete it for the most part um, <laughs> within a few months. And then I started working full time as an intern. I fully completed it just as I got a job offer for the current place I'm at now. And so now I'm a full time employee working just doing some amazing things. We basically build shipping software where, where we build individual applications for so many different clients that uh, we're able to help these clients who are small businesses ship their products all across the world. And so it's just been an amazing journey. And it's totally incredible that I get to sit down and talk to the person who created the curriculum for everything that I know. So I'm really excited. Uh, you had the harder job actually going to watching it all. It's easy to record it once. Um, well, you know, obviously I am, you know, I, I created the course of Springboard. You're a Springboard student. We're saying Springboard a lot, but there are many other similar programs out there. You, you talked about how you, you worked with Career Karma and they matched you and there's certain criteria you were looking for. Can you talk about what those are? Like, 
what were you looking for in a boot camp? Yeah, for sure. So in many people's situations, an ISA, and for those of you who do not know, an ISA is basically when um, you you say that you'll you'll uh, join a boot camp, and then they financially say, all right, if you join this boot camp and you don't have the money right now to pay us, then after you get a job, getting this amount of money um, for within this amount of time, then you will pay us 10% of your salary or whatever the percentage is for one to four years. And so for a lot of people, that's an amazing solution to their financial problem. Um, and it gets people on their, off their feet and it gets people into a really good position financially. And that's awesome. For me though, it just didn't make sense. And so I was in a position where I didn't have any money, but I also wanted to go to a boot camp. And so I loved Springboard's deferred tuition program because it's basically an ISA without you having to fork over a massive amount of money. And so I just really enjoyed that. And then it just, and that's, you know, that was the big thing. The second thing is that it was a longer uh, boot camp, And so I felt like I was able to really get into the material and spend some time marinating in that. Um, the next point is I was looking for the opportunity to speak to an individual one-on-one -on -one when I needed to. And so Springboard is really cool because they have the TAs. You can bother whenever you want. I'm probably like on their wall somewhere with a, a big red cross over my face because I asked so many questions and like really dumb questions too. But they were so patient with me. It was amazing. And I was able to text them anytime and they were able to help me out. Um, and then I also got a, a mentor and I had a mentor from India, a mentor from uh, Uganda, and then a, a me mentor from uh, North Carolina. And so with all these mentors, it was really cool to get to know just so many people all across the world and to be tutored by them. And they really cared about me and really took their time teaching me every single point. And so I just really enjoyed that. Um, so those are the, the biggest points that I was looking for. And then it just happened that, you know, when I joined Springboard, uh, Colt has a reputation of, of uh, being a great teacher. And so when I joined uh, Career Karma and started talking to them, uh, it, it was interesting that uh, I was able to hear that, uh, the, the echoes of um, great reviews from uh, Colt's previous work on Udemy and, and YouTube and so on. So that was really cool that I was able to kind of get that whole breath in there. Cool. Yeah, well, thanks for the, uh, <laughs> the nice feedback. Um, and obviously, you know, it worked out for you, uh, which is always great. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, the, the transition from, uh, I mean, it sounded like you were interning, I guess, part of the way through. Was that a technical job or was that a like unrelated job? I'm trying to understand that transition from working like in a boot camp environment as a student to yeah. then a job and what that was like for you. Yeah, so good question. So basically, I was in a situation where uh, my parents, they both grew up in single family homes, and they paid for college themselves. And, you know, they did it the hard way and everything. So they're all about uh, making us like their kids do it the hard way too. So um, as soon as I got back from the mission and moved out, I was no longer being financially supported by them. And so I started working construction. Uh, that was great. I, I, that's how I got through springboard. Um, and then after getting enough hours under my belt with, you know, uh, just, you know, doing small little projects here and there, I was able to land after applying to a lot of places, uh, an internship, it, just a, a few minutes away from me. And bonus, it was all remote. And so it was really cool. So I was working, uh, I was doing the exact same work as other engineers there. Um, you know, I'm like, was never as good as them because I was just starting out, but I was doing like the same kind of work uh we, we're working with a php react tech stack uh and which is a funny tech stack but you know that's just what i was working with and uh, it, it was a really great experience i met a lot of amazing people i had a lot of really great opportunities to learn and uh after that i was you know just continually looking for another job and i just happened to be contacted by a recruiter and so that's how i got the current job i'm working right now and so this job that you're working on now, you said a lot of the stuff that you learned in the course is carrying over. Like you're, are you 
doing front end stuff, back end, all over the place? Yeah, so it's all over the place. Um, for the so this is my this is month two that I'm on uh, for working here, and it's been really great because you know they're so patient with me and. And they've really been taking me through and giving me tasks that allow me to get to know the code base bit by bit without totally drowning me in it. And that's been really great. Um, so these past several tasks that I've been working on, they've all been very front end focused, but this current task I'm working on is very back end. I'm working a lot with the server and uh, a lot with databases. Like for the past like two days, all I've been doing is database queries um, and trying to set everything up so that it's all right. So it's been a, a really great uh, experience and we're a smaller company. So each person is wearing several diff different hats, which I'm really enjoying right now because I get to have the opportunity to eventually um, grow faster than I would if I had been in a larger company instead. Yeah, a lot of students or potential students always want to know like, Am I going to use <clears throat> everything I learn in the course? Am I going to, you know, use that on a job? But what I feel like is actually more impressive or important is when students go through the course, they get a job, and then they're actually using different technologies or having to learn new things there. Because um, that's like the actual goal of, you know, a successful student or a graduate is not going to be limited to like React and Python and JavaScript forever. Right. If, if you need to pick up Angular or Java or like some other database or whatever, like that should be, you should be equipped to do that. So it sounds like you're, that doesn't mean it's easy, but it sounds like that's part of your job is picking up these new things and, and having to roll with the, you know, from project to project um, or task to task, like a different part of the stack, um, which is cool. So this is in person so, so far, like you said, two months, you, two months ago you joined, is that right? Right. Yeah. So my previous gig was uh, it, like I was there for, I don't know, like nine or 10 months or something like that. And it was all remote. We had a few times where we went into the office, but it's all remote um, because of COVID specifically. And now at this job, we are fully remote. Um, and it's really great. We're like all vaccinated and everything. And, and it's been awesome. Really great accommodating uh, with uh, COVID and stuff. So that's been cool. Um, but yeah, just like how you said, uh, I, I think that the most valuable skill that I learned at Springboard wasn't necessarily like learning, you know, how to do uh, a Postgres insert statement or, you know, learning uh, this portion, uh, le learning about uh, hoisting in JavaScript or, you know, anything like that. It, it, it was really how to learn. I learned how to learn in Springboard, which is incredible. I was speaking to my boss here who's a great engineer one of the best and you know i was like asking him like like what makes a a, a senior engineer and, and we we're talking about this individual who i know who went from being self-taught knowing absolutely nothing about software five years ago to being the engine the, the uh, software architect for a big company here in utah he's a genius guy and it was totally incredible because I was like, that's amazing. This self-taught guy was able to uh, make it that far, that fast and, and to just excel so quickly. And uh, I, I was, you know, I, I made another comment about self-taught engineers and, and my boss, he, he told me uh, that at the end of the day, we really are all self-taught self because college can only take you so far. College can only hold your hand for four years or however long. A boot camp can only hold your hand for three to nine months, really. Um, but then after that, you're on your own to learn new technologies because technologies are progressing and changing every single day. And so it's just totally incredible that Springboard was able to give me those, those uh, abilities to really grow that muscle to learn things on my own. Yeah, I, I mean, I fully agree. But that also is, it's easy to say that when you're done, but when people are starting out, it it seems like a, a cop out or it's nobody wants to hear that. They want to hear like, you know, this is the exact curriculum you need to for sure to that for life. Or like, this is the, you know, you have to learn react and Python in order to get a job. And like, it's the easiest way, but uh, the reality is like the curriculum is always designed so that the technologies matter, but they're not 
like the only thing that matters. <laughs> what matters more is, is what they are helping you learn in addition to the actual syntax, um, which is just like how to teach yourself, how to pick up these other things, what to do when you're stuck, like all that stuff. Nobody really wants to hear about it when you're starting out, but by the end, it's always like the, you know, the most valuable skill um, that you'll use where, wherever you are at your current job or 10 years from now, whatever the world looks like and whatever technology looks like, then you'll probably be writing something completely different. Um, so I guess a couple more things for getting close on time, but I wanted to uh, ask you about the interview process. This is something a lot of like, you know, a lot of my students springboard and just Udemy students, YouTube viewers, they always want to know about interviews and it's a very stressful thing. Um, was there a, like a difficult interview process for you to go smoothly? Was there a technical portion? What was that like? Yeah, so that is a really good question. Um, I think that at the end of the day, from what I've heard after, you know, asking, because I'm, I'm always asking people questions, especially people who are senior to me, um, what makes a good engineer, you know, and this, that, and the other. And when I, whenever, with all the questions I've asked around interviewing, uh, like there's one central theme that I think keeps on coming up. And, I, and that's that an engineer can be as smart as, as any engineer out there, but what really gets an individual into a company is their personality and how easy they are to work with because having a smart jerk uh, is, is much more difficult to work with than you know someone who's a little bit more junior. And that's been a really great lesson for me to learn. I, uh, at my last company, there was this one engineer who uh, did not have the easiest time getting along with others. And that really put a, a that really threw the team for a loop. And, and it really did slow down some of our uh, projects because of a really difficult time with communication. So uh, like I, I would definitely say um, for me, I interviewed at so many places and uh, I, <laughs> my worst interview was, uh, I was able to, to pull off getting an interview at Adobe for this like DevOps position. And they were asking me questions like way out of my league. And I, I, they were looking for someone way more, way more senior than I am. And uh, it was like, it, it, it was uh, three 90 minute interviews back to back. And so it was just, rough it was so rough it, and I, I like wrote down all the questions that I could remember afterwards so that I could study them and and get the the answers to them but man and I like yeah that, that's a whole nother story about how I got that interview but um I think it's good to, you know be honest about it and for other perspective you know candidates or students who are nervous about it like yeah you're nervous with good reason it is a stressful difficult process and you know, it worked out for you, but it wasn't like some instant magical thing. You had to fail a couple times, it sounds like, or more than a couple. You had to have some awkward interviews and, and struggle, for sure. which is good. You know, I, I don't want people to think like you, you enroll in a boot camp or you, whatever, you take a course and you just magically get your first, your first role. It's still a huge amount of work and stress and, you know, it's, it's hard, but it's worth it in the end, obviously. Um, so congratulations on that and congratulations on the first two months. Uh, I hope the next, uh, however many years of this career, uh, go as well for you as the first couple months have gone. Um, thanks again for, you know, taking the time and for chatting, chatting with us in your little, uh, sound studio. You've got a real professional setup there. <laughs> thanks, man. All right. Well, thanks again, Harrison. It was really nice talking to you. Thank you, Colt.